long time no see. Last time we vlogged was for my birthday, which was in January. It is now, what is it today? April? Almost the end of April. Um, but to be honest, we haven't really been vlogging because we haven't really been doing much other than Coachella. We went to Coachella, which was freaking awesome. Coachella was really fun. Ow! I don't really remember day one, to be honest. I think we just kind of hung out and for day one. We didn't, there wasn't really anyone we specifically wanted to see. And then day two, there was a lot of people we wanted to see. We wanted to see um, Isonok. I wanted to see Ice Spice, La Seraphim. And the crazy thing is day two is when I actually got my phone stolen. Um, so for anybody that hasn't been to a music festival or just like festivals in general, getting your phone stolen or like phone thieves are pretty common. And they're also extremely like professional at it too. So the way mine, I, I like, it's so weird because I've heard of so many stories of people getting their phones stolen at these festivals, but I just never, you just never think that you would be, that that would happen to you. You know what I mean? But I was like, obviously still careful because you never know, but it was just, it happened so fast. So basically it was right after ISO knock, um, or it was like kind of in the middle of ISO knock, Andy and I left the stage so that we could get to the bathroom before the line piles up. Cause usually the line starts to pile up after the set is over. So we tried to beat the line, but the line was so long and it was super crowded. Um, but we got in and then we were waiting in line for the bathrooms. I had my phone out and I was using it as a flashlight cause it was nighttime and it was porta potty. Um, so I was using it as a flashlight. I finished, I came out, Andy went in and I specifically, like, I had a fanny pack. I specifically put my phone, I tucked it in and then I put my baby wipes on top. Um, but we were trying to go through the crowd and there was this one time where this girl and I were like, kind of like, like this to each other because we were both trying to go different directions. We were both like this and for like a split second and then we like bumped and then I just went around and I came out and my bag was completely open. It was just like both were down, completely wide open and my heart, literally my heart dropped in that moment and I was like, my phone is gone. I already know it's gone. So then I checked it, I took everything out, it was gone, which is so crazy because like I said, like. The only way they would have been able to open it is if they had two hands to straight up go like this real quick and then yoink it out. And the even crazier thing is because I had my baby wipes on top, but everything was still in there. My sunglasses, my baby wipes, my wallet, everything. It was just literally my phone was gone, which is so weird because I literally put the baby wipes on top so that they like, even if they reached in, they would probably grab baby wipes with the phone. If anything, I tried calling it, went straight to voicemail. So then I did the whole lost my iPhone thing and then I had to get a new phone. Andy got me a new phone the next morning. Andy was so like, he did so much for me that day because I was so, that was the first time I've gotten, like that's the first time I've experienced something like that. So I felt very like, I don't know. I don't know. I know this is probably like a really bad thing to say, but as like somebody that does social media, right? I felt so incomplete without my phone. So when like La Seraphim went on that night, I couldn't like film, like record it and like, or I just couldn't like share anything about it because I didn't have it. And then just like all going home sometimes, you know, like sometimes when you have your phone, you just like pull it up, check the time real quick or something. Um, I just didn't have anything. Um, so then Andy got me a 15 plus instead. Uh, and got me a pink one, which I really like. And he got me a case with the pink one. So yeah, day three, I felt a little more complete, but yeah, I just can't believe that I experienced getting my phone jacked. That's so crazy to me. I guess I could say now that, yeah, I've got my phone jacked at Coachella. I, I fall in that category now, but dude, it's it's just so crazy how fast they are with it. It's it's like a technique. It's crazy. And even the crazy thing is day one. Oh no, the crazy thing is at Isonock, which was day two. Like, so we saw Isonock and then we went to the bathroom and that's when I got my phone stolen. Literally, when we got to ISO knock, um, as we were like kind of getting into the crowd, there was a dude in front of us that was kind of like pushing another guy, like telling him to like, get out of here. What are you doing? Get out of here like that. And we were like, oh, shoot, are they like fighting? Like what's going on? And then he was just like, 
he should have was like, this guy's a phone thief. He's a thief. He's trying to take people's phones. Get out of here, man. Like that. So we were all like, oh, good thing. Like he caught him because we totally would not have known. Like, I mean, in the crowd, you kind of like clutch your bag. But he was just like right there. He was like right in front of us. That probably was the same freaking guy that probably took my phone in the bathroom for all we know. But yeah, it's just crazy. But yeah, but other than that, um, Sunday was also really fun. We saw The Rose, which was really, they're so good live. They're actually really, really good live. I didn't really listen to a lot of their music, but it turns out I actually, like I didn't know I listened to The Rose. I listened to like some songs, but I just didn't realize it was from them. So then when I went to their set, I was like, I was like, I know the song. I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know they played the song. I know the song. So it was a really good time. And it was just like the, the they were at the outdoor stage, I think, which is like the stage kind of in the corner of the, the grounds um and it's like the perfect stage because it has the palm trees and then the sun sets in that corner so that just like the sunset with the palm trees and the wind and then you have the stage with like the the zoom ins of their guitar and like it's just it was just a nice vibe but yeah Coachella was really fun other than getting my phone stolen um but yeah completely random tangent by the way Okay, this is completely random. I'm just kind of, I just kind of wanted to just like hit record and just talk, you know? But I think I'm in my, I think I'm in an, an era where I'm trying to do more feminine things because I feel like I, I'm like very low maintenance in terms of getting ready, if that makes sense. Like I, I don't really style my hair my hair is all just one length one color very simple low maintenance like when i when my hair is dried that's just how i wear my hair my skincare i have upped my skin hair i have upped if you can see i'm a little i did a face mask today um but i've been asking my friends like i've been asking my friend carrie and um anita and just like more girls in general like what they would recommend because I think I have like a bias towards my facial structure. Like, you know how like you see yourself a, a certain way and then your friends see you a certain way, like differently than what you see. So I've been trying to find my makeup style because I, like I said, like I've just been doing makeup where I just grew up doing it a certain way and it tweaked as I got older and obviously some things got better and then all that stuff but i've been trying to find out what my actual like asian makeup style is based off of what my features are so i've been getting a bunch of tiktoks where it's like oh like it's like the what's what asian makeup best suits you quizzes and i just for the life of me cannot i just like for the life of me cannot look at myself and figure it out so then i had to have my friend carry we literally facetimed and i stood in front of a light like no expression i was like what am i and then so apparently apparently and then let me know in the comments what you guys think as well but apparently i have an edgier facial structure because i have cheekbones and my jawline it's not like necessarily round it's like some sharp points so I'm edgy face face wise, and then I have um, I have I have a low nose bridge, apparently, because in with the videos, the reference is like the low nose bridge is like like this, while the other ones is like just straight up like that. So I have a low nose bridge, and then I have thin lips. So. It's like these. I don't know if you guys are on the side of TikTok, okay? Other ladies, let me know what you guys think I am. But this is like the stuff that I'm seeing. Where it's like, oh, like A or B. And then, yeah, and then it shows all the combinations of what you could possibly be at the end. So apparently I'm ABAA, which is Japanese makeup. Anita. Um, if you guys don't know Anita, Anita is Peter's girlfriend. Um, Anita said that I'm, I'm ABAB, which was Thai makeup. Um, but then Carrie, I FaceTimed her and she said I'm 
A B A A. So edgier face shape, um, close set eyes, low nose bridge, and thin lips. That's Japanese style. We're getting sundubu today at a pop up. Uh, it's apparently like a a restaurant that closed down during COVID, so a lot of locals here loved their sundubu, and they're doing a pop up after like four years of closing down. So a lot of people are really excited about it. So we're gonna try it for the first time because we're not locals, so we're not hip to the sundubu craze. But we're gonna go eat with our manager Cass and with Johnny, and I'm gonna take you guys, and then I'm gonna get my hair cut afterwards. I'm gonna get the layer cut that I was talking about, and. Yeah, we're just gonna see you guys. Okay, bye. So we actually just found out that the Sundubu place that closed down was called Sunmat. How do you say it in Korean? Sunmat. It means hand flavor. Oh. It usually means like a like hand homemade. Like a mom, like a mom or grandma made it. So it's it's like homemade. That's like what very homey. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Maybe we're gonna take a picture in here, and I'm gonna fart. <laughs> You can stay inside. Really? Stay in my fart. Stop bothering other people with your gases. Galbi. Mm -hmm. Potential OTT. Side dishes. A like more traditional TV show for you guys. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. Let down. Yeah! We got to my hair appointment a little bit early. We're like 30 minutes early, so I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play some TFT! I'm silver four! I'm trying to rank up. I've been doing a Felios reroll and it has not been working for me, so I'm starting to do Bard reroll, which has been okay, but I'm trying to learn another reroll or another comp because the ones I've been doing clearly are not OP enough to get me back into gold. That was gold last season. Okay, just got back. This is what it looks like after. She definitely uh, curled it instead, um, but the picture that I provided, it's more of like a blow dry. Um, so this is a curl. She thinned out my hair a bunch um, because I had a lot of like dry hair and she thinned it out a lot. So it's just so much more bouncier, but, oops. But I really like it. I like it. I just have to get used to um, styling it, but yeah, I think it's cute. I got a little bit of jewelry because um, I got myself a little bit of jewelry because Andy's not here so he can't say no to me, so these and I basically like to wear it like this. When I do my makeup, like that, to pin it back. So I literally just got it for makeup purposes, but I guess I could wear it like this too. Little teeny tiny earrings because I've just been wanting some everyday earrings. Um, so I got these little tiny ones. I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna clean it and put it on right now. She's just a little one. She's just a little cute one, you know, for every day. For every day. I'm sad. Oh my gosh. It's so tiny. I low thought. I low key thought I lost it just now. Excuse my camera angle. Okay. It's kind of dark in here. And I don't have much space to work with. Yeah, I just wanted one, like, just a very subtle. Just a subtle one where, like, my hair's like this. And then if I go like this, you see it. But yeah. Okay. Well. I'm debating on if I should go to Shibuyama or if I should go home and stop spending money. That's the ultimate question, isn't it? <laughs> 